Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease, which can be pretty serious and can be debilitating. But what exactly is it? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about what its possible causes could be, its symptoms, how it's diagnosed, and what the common treatment plans can be. Let's talk about it. Now, I am not a medical professional, but I have been suffering with ulcerative colitis for almost 30 years now. So we're going to keep it simple and we're going to start with what its possible causes could be. Now, there's a lot of debate about this. Uh, it's still not completely known what can cause it, but there has been some genetic factors linked to it. It could possibly run in the family, but just because you don't have a history of it doesn't mean that you still can't develop it. There's also some debate in the community about it being possible environmental factors. The bottom line is nobody really knows exactly what causes it, but it does have something to do with the immune system. So what exactly is ulcerative colitis? It's an inflammatory bowel disease. And what happens is your immune system thinks that there's something inside your colon that's not supposed to be there. So it starts attacking your digestive system. It starts attacking your colon even though there's nothing there, and that causes the inflammation and the bleeding and some of the, the symptoms that you may see. Overall, the precise cause of ulcerative colitis isn't really clear. They're still trying to develop some more research to figure out what's going on with it. So what are some of the early common symptoms of ulcerative colitis? There's gonna be diarrhea, uh, abdominal pain. You may see some bleeding, um, not just whenever you wipe, but whenever you look in the toilet after you're done using the bathroom, you may see some blood in the toilet. If you start seeing symptoms like this, go ahead and talk to your doctor. These symptoms could be a warning sign. Whenever you go to the doctor and you tell them about these symptoms, they may want to take a closer look by doing an endoscopy. Now this is a process where they take this, basically a camera and a tube, and they go up in there and they look to see what's going on inside your colon. It's not a very pleasant process, but they need to take a look to see where the bleeding's coming from. Once they go up in there and they see something they don't like, they may also go ahead and do some blood work and they may order a colonoscopy. It's a little more intensive. You'll be asleep during the whole process, but they'll go up and they'll take a closer look at everything that's going on inside your colon and your lower intestines. They're gonna take all this information and use that to help diagnose what's going on. Once it's diagnosed, the next thing is to go ahead and start you on a treatment plan. The first thing they want to do is they want to shut down that inflammation as quickly as possible. Now you do that with some type of steroid medication, usually prednisone is what they'll use to try to shut down the inflammation and get it under control. Once they get all that under control, they may also go ahead and prescribe other, other medications to help keep everything regulated in your digestive tract. Now with me, it included a lot of pills. Early on, this is what I was doing. I was taking 25 to 28 pills a day to help keep things regular. It also periodically scheduled colonoscopy every two to three, maybe four years to make sure that there's nothing going on that, that could raise some alarms. With me, the pills stopped working after a little while, so they ended up prescribing some biologic medication. Now the biologics is gonna be a little different. They're gonna be self-injections to help shut down everything and they suppress your immune system to keep it from overreacting to what it thinks is a foreign object in your colon so it doesn't attack itself. The symptoms can vary greatly, the treatment options can vary greatly, but the bottom line is if you experience any of the symptoms, anything out of the ordinary, you should talk to your doctor about. It. Let them figure this out because they can get it under control and you can live a normal life, but it's all about communicating with your doctor so she can get on the right treatment plan once the diagnosis is in place. If you're interested in learning more about how some of the treatments work, such as the biologic medication, I got videos posted on that. Go ahead and click up here so that you can see how some of the injections work. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you soon.